and welcome again to AA Home Gardening. Thanks for all my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. And thank you for anyone new that's stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm by this strawberry bed that I've um, done a few days ago. So now I'm going to do some companion planting. <music> So no compound planting also save on space but also can help with some of the delicate plants so like strawberries slugs love strawberries but i don't want to give them my strawberries i want them for myself so i'm going to compound and plant them with some onions because the strong smell of the onion helps the slug to stay away it's not 100 percent but it does help that's what i did last year with my strawberries and i was able they enjoy my strawberries without sharing most of them with the slugs okay so all the gaps that you can see between the strawberries the strawberries will spread out and send out runners to fill those gaps but i also have my onions to fill those gaps as well so come on in we're gonna plant together okay so component planting is very very good so for some of you guys who have done it you know there's loads of benefit because especially with strawberries you find that the slugs come in and they eat a strawberry and it's so nice they don't decide to leave any for us they just move on to the next strawberry and just eat again and they just continue eating like that with no consideration for us who put in the hard work so that's why i'm just going to plant my nice onion sets nice red onions just make sure you feel them and they're firm to the touch once they are firm to the touch then they are nice plants you can just put straight in your bed so i've done it last year and i'm telling you was the most strawberries that have harvest the soil is soft so i don't really need to dig it i just push it straight in it was the best strawberries i had last year by not sharing any with these slugs so put that in so if you haven't guys if you haven't planted your onions late yet then now is the time to get your onion sets in it's late for onion seeds but for the sets it's perfect timing so get them all in i'm so looking forward to my strawberry this year last year i got so much strawberries loads and loads of strawberries i got last year so i'm looking forward to them this year so you can see all this space i mean you could leave it for the strawberries to spread but no i want to plant more than one thing that will benefit each other okay so it's a good thing plan and plan because what i'm going to do as well when i plant out my sweet corns I'm going to come pan and plant it with some runner beans. So what happened, while the sweet corn grows, it will act like a trellis for my runner bean. So I'll be doing some more come pan and planting there as well. Because you have to make use of the space we have. And also, if a plant help another, then just do it. They help each other. Nice partnership going on there. Last year, I had some nice healthy onions for my strawberry bed. So I'm sure, like this particular one, all dry, that's no good. Can't plant that. So make sure as you're going through, just feed them. You know, the bottom is there. And like a top bit needs to be the one upwards. So there's not much to planting onions. Very straightforward. They don't really need a lot of care or anything. You just make sure you water them this was rich compost so they don't really need any fertilizer or anything either the compost i make sure i have some nice rich compost in here so that's all i'm doing today and you can see my strawberries have perked up nicely from when i put them out so they're looking nice so that's my strawberries i'm so excited for the season even though the weather was a bit funny recently, we know spring is on the way. The bad weather, well, the spring is here. The bad weather won't last forever. 
so we soon be able to just go out in the garden and just enjoy the season cannot wait for that it's beautiful i'm gonna have so much onions because i'm using onion for a lot of companion planting as well so my sweetheart cabbage my companion planting as well with some onion they're gonna have so much onions i shouldn't be buying any onions after I harvest these until the next harvest again i should have enough to last me so that's all i'm doing so guys go out in the garden don't let the weather stop you go out in the garden and just enjoy the garden don't be put off by the weather we have to do what we have to do and certain things you just make sure you start them indoor so when the weather does change and become nice then we can just have a head start and just keep going so that's it just go through and plant all the onions out nice companion planting see almost finished there was like supposed to be a 50 a 50 piece pack and that's it all planted out in the strawberry bed i didn't have to go and get another area to plant these so all these 50 onions is in this strawberry bed that will help the strawberry to be protected from some of the attackers that come and attack them in the summer so that's it nice easy all planted onions just waiting to be harvested so that's it everything all planted all 50 onions quick and easy nice red onions so thanks for watching if you like this video please remember to give us a thumbs up any question about companion planting or what can companion plant with what just put it in the comment section below and thanks again for watching and remember to like share and subscribe until next time bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell